Hey everyone, Joel Hans here, and so I'm in Tacoma, Washington, basically Seattle area. And I ended up in this place called like Narrow, Narrow Marina, Narrows the Narrows, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous area. I mean, there's literally like the water right there. There is boats, there is docks. Anyway, I was looking for something to eat. So I came upon this place right here called the Boathouse. 19 yes boathouse 19 it's literally right on the water um they have a dock you can literally pull your boat up i don't have a boat but if i did i'd pull my boat right up um so just super super awesome i looked at the reviews they're all stellar they are definitely focusing on like local ingredients true strong northwest um you know basically being the seafood like literally all coming right here the beef is all coming locally um everything you know and that's what they're known for seafood um burgers this area is known for salmon Salmon. Um, they have cod on the menu. I saw jambalaya, which sounds interesting. They have crab dips, calamari. Uh, I don't know, guys, so much seafood, clams, and I'm just excited. I'm so excited. Let's go eat. Hi everyone, so we made it on in and everything looks absolutely delicious. I am so, so, so excited, guys. So I went with pretty much all their recommendations. Um, here I have their steamed clams. This is their pound of manila clams. They look absolutely delicious. I have their blackened salmon tacos. Yes, salmon tacos, guys. I love salmon. This is the salmon area, and I love tacos, so I figured I'd give that a go. I also got a side with it, so I could chose like french fries or a salad, but I chose a clam chowder, so I'm like, super excited to try the chowder as well. I then have the ling cod. So this ling cod is a staple on the menu, but what's really interesting with it is they change like the dressing of it depending on the season. So it's a strawberry season right now. They have a strawberry and rhubarb bit on it, which looks really cool. Served over rice with some asparagus as well. That's the seasonal vegetable. I then have the uh, jambalaya, which is awesome. Blackened chicken, andouille sausage, shrimp. I love Southern cuisine and this looks delicious, absolutely. I have the poke salad, guys. So this is a tuna poke on a uh, bed of romaine. We have a kind of like um, Asian coleslaw, I believe it was, the uh, Asian slaw they called it. And then it is a uh, sesame kind of dressing or vinaigrette on it. And then I have the salmon as well with the uh, pretty much straight salmon. Uh, usually comes with a smashed potato and the veggie, but I also just kind of went with the veggie. I have enough food, I'll put it that way. Mm. Drinking a lovely sweet tea. You guys know I love, love, love my sweet teas. And look at this view. This is stunning. I, I cannot fathom how gorgeous of a view this is. You can literally dock your boat here, bring it right up. You can uh, see the water. So at that, that's about that, guys. So uh, like I said, beautiful view, beautiful food right on the water. I'm excited. Let's get eating. So I'm probably gonna start with some of these clams. Uh, we do have some lemon here for them. It is a white wine, butter kind of sauce we got going, but I do love some clams. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yes, guys, delicious clam. Really, really enjoy them. Just like that butter, those flavors of that white wine that they're cooked in. It just seems so fresh. Guys, and the soft texture, and that delicious. Mm, 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 mm. I grew up on the East Coast. In the East Coast, we got mussels. But man, guys, these clams, oh my gosh, that. Mm, woo, amazing. Definitely a buy. Just like a classic, great way to start. And like I said, that patio, 
If the patio wasn't full right now, I'd definitely be out there because it is stunning. All right, those clams are delicious. That's a great place to start. And it was a starter. It was really the only starter I got. But I would also classify the salad as a starter. So let's try this poke salad, guys. So I see some cucumbers in here. We got some romaine. Looks like looks like I have like a, like I said, something's definitely creamy. It's probably that like Asian slaw they call it, then the, the chuta polka. One of the staff favorite, sets me on top. Oh my gosh. It is like, there's actually about a, there's a little bit of heat on that. I'm not really getting the flavor of the cucumber, just such a nice crisp on that. That lettuce, that sesame dressing, the togarashi, the sesame on this tuna, the polka, and that marinated tuna. That is honestly, I would argue to say in the ranks, for one of the best salads to memory. Wow. I'm just like, oh, what, like, just, my gosh. It gives you that freshness, a bit of that sesame oil, but that chili in there really complements the creaminess of it. Mm. And they're using the cucumber like uh, like the rind. So you just get the straight texture of it without really getting the potentially overpowering flavor of the cucumber. All right, get the salad, get the salad. I'll probably try the salmon next. So with this salmon, which looks absolutely delicious, guys, look at the color. Look at the color on that salmon, just a beautiful, beautiful red. They do put a, a sun-dried tomato butter on top. Mm. That is the epitome of fresh. Salmon, unlike a lot of other fish, generally doesn't taste like fish, and it shouldn't. If you get a salmon which tastes like fish or really fishy, there's an issue. This, guys, oh my gosh, this is local. They get their salmon in season. Literally here, let me let me get this. They have the name of it here. It is a silver salmon. Wild silver salmon. It is cooked on an alder plank, which just brings out that robust, woody, deep, dark tones of that. Okay, so I've tried it with, pretty much without the bit of the butter, the sun-dried tomato butter. This is the last bite really without the, the butter. And I do want to try with a little bit of extra salt on it. It's, you don't need the salt, it's beautiful and lovely, but I just think, let me throw this on there, guys. I think this is just gonna bring it to the next, like. Oh my gosh. That is some of the best salmon I've ever had. Guys, the texture of that salmon is just so delectable. It's so to die for. The way that butter just sits on the salmon, it is so moist, it is so juicy. Right now, this would be with the allotment of that delicious sun-dried sun -dried tomato butter. Oh, there's some pesto. Pesto? Is that what it is? That is, a, oh, basil, that's it, basil. It is a sun-dried tomato basil, guys, that flavor. Mm. That is a totally different dish. But that salmon is so good. There is nothing else needed. All right, so where are we going next? Um, probably the lincod, and then let's go into this jambalaya and the salmon tacos, which I'm super excited for because I think they're gonna be really, really like mm, stronger flavored. So I wanna work through the uh, more delicate flavored items. So again, we got the strawberry rhubarb on this lincod, guys. Fried lincod. Oh man, what a beautiful meaty fish. They have taken this. Uh, just look, just appreciate that white fish. They definitely put some extra kind of butter on this. Those are the craziest flavors. That lingcod is just such a delicate yet meaty fish. Perfect white fish. It's not overcooked. It is perfect. It is just so soft, buttery. And then with the addition of this rhubarb and this local strawberry, like the, the in season, both they're in season, it brings a sweet and savory dynamic in, which I've never really thought that I'd say fish goes really well with strawberries and rhubarb. Mm. The sweetness, the richness, the oil, and then that strawberry rhubarb is a great dynamic. We have the strawberry rhubarb and lincod. Definitely a buy. 
And then there were two, slash kind of three, because we, we have the chowder also, you know? All right, I'm gonna try the taco, and then I think we'll finish with the jambalaya, which is chicken in it and sausage. We haven't had either kind of land animals yet. Um, so, guys, look at this taco, the way this taco looks, wow. It is a huge piece of salmon on there. We have a delicious slaw. You can see that just like the salmon has been nice and blackened. There's a flour tortilla, some cilantro, tomatoes. This is a, one of the favorites of the staff here. And I am so excited. So here we go, guys. Salmon, blackened salmon taco. That is just beyond stellar. That is just beyond stellar. There is a, what they call a salsa mayo in there, which is incredibly rich with that blackened fish. Let me try this blackened salmon just by itself. Oh my gosh. Guys, I can't get over the quality of that salmon, the flavor. I'm so well rounded and balanced by the slaw, the mayo, the texture is there. Definitely a keeper. And like I said, this is this is huge, like great size filet. And everything on here is like, yeah, so the slaw, the mayo, tomato. Mm. Even that bite's delicious, but man, you throw in that black and the fish. Mm. I can't I can't even say it. I was gonna say I'll see if I can make I, only one thing I might make this better, but I don't think it could. I'm gonna try one thing that I think could even maybe elevate this experience more for somebody who loves a little bit of spice like myself. I'm gonna throw on some hot sauce, guys. Right on that bite, lots of hot sauce with all that delicious slaw, the mayo. Let's give this a go. I hear the angels speaking. Did you see that light just shine on me? Oh my gosh. Game changing. Oh my gosh. The Cholula hot sauce. I was dousing this one again. That was the bait. Hallelujah. Guys, that is amazing. I came for seafood. And we've had seafood. And it has been a fantastic. And this is getting better by the minute. Compared to like, like that poke was fire. The salmon was great. But this very well may be my favorite item so far. That is just a 10 out of 10. I love it. All right, let's try this chowder. It's gonna be dang hard for, you know, to come back after the, guys, what an amazing taco. All right, clam chowder. Great bits of seafood, I love the onion in it. Nice and creamy, but still holding that delicate takes texture and flavor of the seafood. There are little bits of potato, but nothing overpowering, but guys, we're getting like some celery or celery salt in there. Mmm, great flavor. This reminds me, I was just gonna say like an East Coast clam chowder, but like, it's just a good clam chowder, what can I say? And now it's the last dish, which is actually unfortunate. I'm sorry guys, I've said this a number of times, but it is like a 91 degree day, which I love. Let me know down below if you think that's too hot. But a 91 degree day, it is so beautiful on the beautiful Tacoma freaking ocean. The water, guys, this waterfront. What I am seeing right now is amazing. I am, I can't even say enough, this has been a pleasant, not even just pleasant, this has been an awesome experience. And we have one more dish, a jambalaya, a southern influence. So we have the blackened chicken in here. I do have the andouille sausage. Excited to give this a try. Not as heavily seasoned as like the, uh, the salmon was. I'm gonna try with a bite of this rice and of course, the sauce and everything. Oh God, there's the flavor. You get that smokiness of that sausage, the rice, and the sauce in the rice is incredibly rich. Sorry, the, the, the hot sauce was so good on that salmon. I'm gonna try a little bit on this just for the ultimate bite. I got chicken and the sausage here. Mm. 
that wasn't needed though. All right, everybody. But our time here is coming to an end, really. I had to say, absolutely awesome. My favorite dishes of the day were the salmon tacos, the poke salad, and oof. And eh, looking at my dishes here, the clams were really, really good, and the salmon were really, really good. But if I was going to come here and I had to pick one, like, I'll call it one, like, one set of courses, I would absolutely start with that poke salad. I would get the uh, salmon tacos. Those were just both those items to me were game changing. They were also good, those guys, but I loved everything here. Um, everything from the fresh clams, which again were so, so, so good. They were so fresh. The link cod was fantastic. I really enjoyed the addition of the strawberries and the rhubarb. Having that jambalaya at the end, that was definitely a rich dish. I think it was a, I'm glad I had that at the end. Definitely a heavy one, heavy sit in one. Huge thanks to all the staff here. This place is again awesome. I've said that 3,000 times. So, at that, I'm gonna shut up. But until next time, everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I surely have. I'm definitely gonna be back here, guys. Beautiful harbor, beautiful place, beautiful people. And uh, Washington, you are a great state. So, thank you again. Thank you, Ice Tea. So good. And let me know what your favorite dish would be down below. So good, guys. I love seafood. So, everyone, until next time, say happy all the hungry, happy eating. That's about it. So till next time, have a lovely day. Whoopsie. Sorry. Yeah, I'm fine. I, I knocked the water off the table. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, thanks so much. Thanks, my friend. Sorry about that. I just knocked the water off the table, guys. Technical difficulties. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe, yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.